disconnect from voice. Hungi, fix my shit. Do I have anything better? I don't think so. Can I actually, like... No. I don't want to open the next quest yet, so... We shall not. Onward. We have Sereg here for magic. And we have... Louis Reg over there. For... Physical DPS. We've got here for healers. Do I have a tank of appropriate level? Nope. I'm gonna have to go finish Paladin to get the tanks done. But I think we will first do. You're 73. And. It's my red mage again. 73. They're both there. Reaper it is. Let's start with... This, huh? Okay, where are you? Blue Reek. We have a quest to do for you. Where are you? Tell me. Wait, you wouldn't happen to be... Of course you are. It's plain from the way you carry yourself. You're just the sort of woman I've been looking for. Oh, you're perfect. Uh, calm down, boy. Calm down. Not here to date. Here to murder. Uh, my name is Luhuri, and I'm a bounty hunter. Not just any bounty hunter, I'll have you know, nay, I'm not one to settle for run-of-the-mill prey. I hunt Sin Eaters. Not only that, I recently set my sights on a particularly notable fiend. One of the four cardinal virtues, the most infamous instigators of the Flood itself. Naturally, I'll take considerable strength and skill to defeat such a formidable leader. And I'm not afraid to admit I can't do it alone. However, with the aid of an equally formidable allies. I'm confident it can be done. Hey, love, you just missed us eat our first Light Warden. And you, my friend, are exactly the sort of ally I have a mind to recruit. What will I do? Walk away without a word. Bye! Well, hey, wait, wait, I have money. Let's let the money eat. You'll be well rewarded for your service on my honor. However, as much as I'm certain you're the right woman for the job, it's only me I put your skills to the proof. A simple test should suffice. Pray don't be offended, but you would be shocked how many people present themselves falsely in order to enrich themselves or impress others. I really would not be, actually. <laughs> that bitchy little shrug. Well, out we go into Lakeland. I guess. I can't jump down from there, that's annoying. Outwards to Lakeland. Ouch! Ah, uh, VR always makes me feel sick. Oh, we should unlock flight in Lakeland. We don't have the, uh, we can't. We haven't finished the MSQ here. So I guess we're just gonna have to go. Bye. This way. Uh... 
farewell robot. Yeah, we we went, we found Alfie, and then we got back, and we had a big scary dungeon that was a great deal of fun. And now we're doing some side quests that we have to get done before the end of the expansion. Oh, yeah. Next time we should make sure that we have space around for that not to happen. I think these iguanas are all going to want my ass. Hopefully. I worry, but why well, I, I always worry a lot. Hi, Lou. What tests do you have for me out here? In the normal sunlight. Fair skies, not unnatural light. This is my doing. Haha, <laughs> I brought the day-night cycle back to this land. Here we are, our proving grounds. You need only slay a beast of suitable ferocity before my eyes to demonstrate your own. Naturally, we require bait to lure one out of hiding. Oh, the Lord, got your package here. Well done, my good man, and here's your payment. What is this? The bait in question. Easier to have it delivered than take a detour and pick it up myself. More efficient that way. Time is money. N not a Prince Catboy. This guy is just a freaking bounty hunter. He's just dressed fancy. And apparently, hiring people to deliver things. Unless he is a prince, I don't know. Now then, you need only place it in the open and slay whatever comes to claim it. I can't imagine it'll take long for something to come hither. Yeah, the Malord is like, a weird thing. Maybe he was a noble, but like, it doesn't matter anymore in a post Sin Eater's world. Well... Let's go use the bait to lure out a beastie. I think that did well enough. Huh? Well, Prince Catboy? Prince Lou Reed? Fantastic. I knew I was right about you. Come, let's return to the Crystarium at once. I'll just port back. I don't feel like running. Aww. Pat, 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 pat. Take your wrist easy for a bit. I don't want it to, like, get busted. Congratulations on a kill well made, my good woman. I dare say this is the beginning of a beautiful partnership. Let's commemorate the occasion with a feast. Eat, drink, and make merry. Less so on the make merry. 
wonderful stuff I don't want to come Yay, he eats like a prince. Are there helping? No? You sure? It really is no bother. Oh, well, very well. I should like to return to our earlier discussion. That of the virtue I've engaged you to hunt with me. Andrea is her name, and she roams no rent in the guise of Renderay, fallen warrior of light and renowned hunter of Eld. She is the most elusive eater who has been sighted in every corner of the realm. Though her movements are unpredictable, she has often been witnessed pursuing and slaying extraordinarily dangerous beasts. I can well imagine the question forming in your head. Why not leave her be? If anything, is she not aiding local communities after a fashion? Alas, no. The beasts she slays rise anew as eaters, which pose even greater threats to the small folk. So you see, the one wretched sin eater is in truth sowing untold chaos by carrying on as she does, unleashing more of her kind on unsuspecting towns and villages all across Novrent. Only you and I can stop her. So she was a warrior of light. What an odd thing to ask, but never mind all that. Whether or not they were heroes or villains or whatever a hundred years ago doesn't matter to me. Simple truth is, Renderay was the greatest hunter who ever lived, and beating her in her own game would be an amazing feat, don't you think? Regardless of what the warriors of light were before they became Sin Eaters, that's what they are now, so we'd be doing folk a favor by killing one. Oh, uh, what say ya, friend? Will you hunt Andrea with me? I hope I live to regret this. <laughs> so begins our formal partnership. Ah, I see it now. You and me in the heat of that battle, fighting side by side. The picture of courage and camaraderie. It's gonna be grand. Naturally, it'll take time to study and understand our prey. Eaters can behave in strange and inexplicable ways, particularly powerful ones like Andrea. I've been doing my best to get inside her head and think like a hunter. That's easier said than done. Anyway, as soon as I've determined where we ought to begin our search, I'll inform you at once. Oh, is the reward lacking? My apologies. Next time I'll see that you receive rather more substantial compensation. Okay. Normally, we would have to stop. We'll be able to do two this time because, like, that was 70, this is 72. The next one will be 74, and then 6, and then 8, and then level 80, I think, is, like, the proper job quests. But we can do two of these. Wait, it's you. It's really you. You actually came. I never left. I mean, never mind. Um, You're here to hunt Andrea with me? Yes, of course you are. Why else would you be here? And wouldn't you know it, one of my hirelings should be returning with new information any moment now. Greetings, my lord. I am pleased to report Andrea was recently sighted in Amarang, in the vicinity of Samuel's backbone, it would seem. Apparently, there was a right vicious spider which was giving folk trouble, and now that it's been turned, it's about a dozen times worse. They'd be grateful for any assistance. See, see, well done, my friend. Your payment has promised. Why bother going out and pestering small folk for news when you can employ others to do it for you? The better to devote our precious time to rather more important matters, I say. And owing to my winning strategy, we may now depart for Amarang in the delightfully named Samuel's Backbone. For in pursuing the spider, we may yet find its maker. Onward to Mordsook!
I look forward to being able to fly in these maps. It's so pitiful doing this along the ground. This is certainly the place. I gather these bones once belonged to dear Samuel. I see no troublesome arachnid. Being a rather large desert, I had considered hiring a few trackers to hasten their search, but I have yet to spy a place where such individuals might congregate. Pity. Ah, nothing for it but to roll up our proverbial sleeves and do the dirty work ourselves. We shall split up and search the sands for the Sin Eater Spider. Whoever finds it first may have the honor of slaying it themselves. And should we not find it? Well, after we both search for it a suitable length of time, I say we meet back here. Let the hunt begin. I'm doing the fate because it's on the way. Good. Why isn't the void on its way? I know the answer to that, but I'm not gonna and spoil it. That's a good observation, Hawk. a question of if I'm going to get these dead in time. We are running close to the deadline. Look at that timer ticking.
Yay! Victory! <laughs> it's a little bit much to do that fate, maybe, but hi, I've completed one of the fates. And I got some bicolored gemstones for my trouble. No trace of the spider we see. Here, spider, spider, spider. Here, spider, spider, spider. Neither of you are spiders. Go away. Spider! That was a scorpion, not a spider. But I care, apparently it's spider enough. <laughs> uh. oh. M scissor jaws. not gonna terrorize the innocent anymore scissor jaws
Okay. Whew. We keep getting in trouble with these other things. We had turtles attacking one tower. We had uh, Ankegs attacking another. can wait for Lurik. Hey, is Lou coming? What happened to Lou? It's kind of useless. Uh, hello? It's, it's Halabali, but Evil. <laughs> there she is, scourge of Novrant, devourer of souls, Balam Keats. We bring this mark down, they'll be singing ballads about us till the end of time. Never mind the king's bounty. Hells, we could buy ourselves a couple of castles apiece. Flanky maneuver, as discussed. Wait for my signal and the strike is won. No, three range DPS can't do it. You need a tank. Damn it, she's on to us. Don't panic, we plan for this. Act as decoys while Renda Ray brings her down. Go! Wait, not yet! There's no need to rush this! Sonnet always so headstrong. Rah! Look at my, my head, I can't. No. This is why you need a tank and a healer for your boss fights. No, come back here. Finish it, you bloody bastard. Finish me. So sorry, it's all my fault. I will not let it end like this, I promise. I'll kill that god's damn beast if it's the last thing I do. Hey, what was that about just now? I've had headaches before, but the way you were thrashing about wasn't like anything I've ever felt. Yeah, I'm psychic. I can connect to people's hearts and souls and read their minds on occasion. It's not something I control, and it sucks. Uh, and I just learned all about our bark. By the gods, and I thought we were lucky to just catch a glimpse of Andrea. You're telling me you were granted a vision of her past with this power? Hmm. Two warriors killed while hunting a great horned beast. The beast and surviving companion vows to slay in revenge. I've heard this tale before, I know it. Uh, it's a common enough sort of tale, I suppose. Regardless, she's gone. Let's return to the Crystarium and celebrate your accomplishment. With proper pay this time, I hope. Gil, please.
Table set, and I bid you raise a glass with me. Oh my god. That's, that's, that's too much, Lou. That is too much. Look at, look at that. That's too much. I mean, we did say we wanted a feast. I guess the answer, getting a feast, uh, Halabali, Hawk, etc., is do the melee a DPS thing. I feel there's another ball already, you know? Okay. Curse me, my good woman, that I've yet to ask you your name. So quickly did we forge our friendship, I hardly noticed till now. I'm Gobo Bar. Gobo Bar. Reek and Gobo. <laughs> I rather like the sound of that. Reek and Gobo. The daring duel. The brave bounty hunters. The scourge of sin eaters. Once we've slain Andrea, not a soul in Novrant will not know our names. They'll ring out across all the realm. Uh, I should dwell not I should dwell over much on the victory for the struggle. A wise hunter is prepared and patient. It would be prudent to send double, nay triple the agents afield to seek promising new leads. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you're a Gillionaire. No worried about the budget? Uh, well, don't be. I'm prepared to fund our activities as needed. No expense shall be spared, none whatsoever. And you give me pennies. You give me pennies. <laughs> 